adding and subtracting fractions. Now I'm going to go all the way back to the basics because I know that some of you still don't get it. The reason I know is every day I see some of my 12s that still doesn't get the principle of fractions. Now adding and subtracting fractions, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say there's a whole. Right? And if I want to add a half of this whole to a third of this whole, what part of that is that of the whole? And then the first thing people say is one and one is two, right? So it's two fifths. They add the top and they add the bottom. Now two fifths, if this is one fifth and this is one fifth, that is two fifths. They are not equal, sorry. So that, that doesn't work. What we want to do is we want to break this up and this up into bits that are the same size and then we can know what it is. For example, I'm going to break this up into six sixths and it fits exactly. And I'm going to break a third up into two sixths and now I can see that that is five, one plus one plus one plus one plus one. That will be two or five sixths. So I'll say half plus a third is five sixths. And I'll do the maths on that now. Okay, so when we had here, we said a half plus a third equals, and now what I had to do was the following. What I had to do is I had to break this up so that I have the same denominator. So I had to write an equivalent fraction of 1 over 2 as also equivalent fraction to 1 over 3 and then add those two fractions. So what I did is I looked at the highest or the lowest common multiple of 2 and 3 and that's why we did common multiples earlier on. The lowest common multiple for 2 and 3 is 6. Now I'm going to show you two ways to write out the same thing. Two ways the teachers does this. They say the lowest common factor is 6. What I do to 2 to get to 6, they said I multiply that by 3 and then I multiply that the top by 3 so that I'm multiplying that fraction only with 1. 1 times 3 is 3 and then what did I do with this 3? I had to multiply it by 2 to get 6 so I have to multiply that so I multiply this fraction only with 1. And then I'm not changing the value, it's just an equivalent fraction. So it will be plus 1 times 2 is 2, and 3 over 2 equals 5 over 6. Now usually you'll write this underneath each other, I just need the space to work. So we said that a half and a third of a whole equals 3 sixths and 5 sixths. And this is another way of doing this. I can only add fractions with the same name. And remember we said that the denominator determines what fraction it is. So that's the name of the fraction. And I can only add fractions that have the same name. I can only say 1 sixth plus 1 sixth is 2 sixths. Plus another sixth will give us 3 sixths. So the sixths stays the same. I don't, I'm not changing anything there. I'm just adding up all the sixths and see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five of them. And subtraction works exactly the same. If I say, what is a half? And I'm going to take this one away now. What is a half take away a third? Well, that looks like there's a sixth. If I take that away, I'm left with that yellow part, and that yellow part is a sixth. So what did I do? Well, what I did was I said, this is three sixths, this is two sixths. So if I take this away, I'm taking away two sixths. So what remains is one sixth. Okay, how do I write that? That is how it works. To make it a little bit more visual for you, what happens is I say a half, take away a third, is get the lowest common multiple, 
that's the base and now I'm going to show you the other way of doing it I'm going to say this equals my lowest common multiple is 6 so I'm going to change this to equivalent of 6 what do I do to 2 times by 3 times by 3 so that will give us 2 over 6 so a half oh that's a 3 sorry so that is 3 over 6 take away what do I do with this times by 2 times by 2 so that is minus 2 over 6 so 3 over 6 take away 2 over 6 will leave me 1 sixth exactly like we saw in our problem so what's the two methods of writing this one is to change it to one fraction so two numerators with this common denominator or you can have it as one fraction with the same denominator so whatever one of those two works for you that is what you use okay so I'm quickly going to make a list of what you need to do you first have to find add and subtract add and mm, it's not going to work add and subtract you need you need to have lowest common multiple as denominator okay and then once you have that all you have to do a lowest common multiple as denominator once you have that you just add or subtract your numerator while your denominator stays the same stays the same please have a look at the example that's coming